If you grew up watching The Partridge Family, you'll remember Susan Day, who played Lori Partridge on the show. She catapulted to stardom when she played Lori on The Partridge Family for 96 episodes. But she started to slow down in the 90s and early 2000s, and then called it quits. But why did she quit acting for good? Let's look back at Susan Day's life and career and what she's up to today. Early Life and Career Susan Halleck Day was born December 10, 1952 in Pekin, Illinois. She graduated from Fox Lane High School in 1970 and went straight to work, beginning her career as a model. Her natural beauty made her ideal for modeling, and she gained stardom rather quickly from it. One of her early successes was appearing in a booklet for Persets Tampons. She soon became one of the most recognized teenage faces in the country. But it was clear she was destined for much more. She decided to pursue a career in acting, and her first role became her most famous. She played Lori Partridge in The Partridge Family for four seasons. She landed her first film role in the 1972 film Skyjacked. She played Ellie Brewster, one of the passengers on the hijacked plane featured in the film. While this was a supporting role, it was enough for Susan to garner attention. It was only her debut role, but it was enough for her to gain a bit of fame and receive offers for more work. The following year, she graduated to working in television. She appeared in the episode Doorway to Death in the series Circle of Fear. That same year, she had a lead role in TV movie Terror on the Beach. This followed a family looking for a peaceful day on the beach, but found anything but. They were chased by dangerous thugs and had to find ways to protect themselves. It was clear she was made to share her talents on television. The early 70s was truly one of the best times in Susan Day's career. Before we tell you more about her, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. The Partridge Family In 1970, Susan Day joined the cast of The Partridge Family, playing daughter Lori Partridge. This was her acting debut and the role we remember her most by. The ensemble cast became some of TV's biggest stars, and Susan Day is still loved for her role as Lori. It also opened many opportunities for her. She got recognized for her role by fans and the press alike. She was almost defined by the role. Of course, this didn't stop her from venturing into other roles, and she won praise for her other roles in TV shows and TV movies. Apart from her role on Terror on the Beach, she also made guest appearances on shows like Born Free, The Rookies, Hawaii Five-0, and Good Heavens. But she also continued to get roles as Lori Partridge. She voiced the role of Lori in a few episodes of the animated series Goober and the Ghost Chasers. She also revived Lori in the short-lived animated series The Partridge Family 2200 AD. She also had a crush on co-star David Cassidy, and years later she was upset by him disclosing personal details of their relationship in his memoir. While the Partridge family helped launch Susan Day to stardom, she tried to distance herself from the show and was happy to walk away from Lori Partridge. After the Partridge Family Ever since the show ended, Susan hasn't been eager to look back on the show. She's often refused to appear in reunion programs about it and seems eager to distance herself. Luckily, she continued to receive great work opportunities following the end of The Partridge Family. She appeared in a lead role in the series Loves Me, Loves Me Not, which sadly didn't go past one season. She voiced different roles in Fred Flintstone and Friends, and had a lead role in the harrowing TV drama film Mary Jane Harper Cried Last Night. She also played Josephine in the miniseries Little Women. She managed to snag a few film roles in the 70s and 80s. These included roles in films such as First Love, Echo Park, and That's Adequate. She kept herself busy in popular TV movies like Cage Without a Key, The Gift of Life, and I Love You Perfect. In the 80s and early 90s, she won the next big role that she would be remembered for. This was Grace Van Owen in the TV series L.A. Law, which she acted in for 126 episodes. By then, she was in her 30s and managed to move away from her role as Laurie Partridge and show she was a serious actress who could find a great recurring role on TV once again. After L.A. Law came to an end, she didn't slow down. She was cast in Love and War, where she played Wallace Wally Porter. In the 90s, she also appeared in a variety of successful TV movies, including Beyond Betrayal, Bridge of Time, and Blue River. As the new millennium came around, Susan, now in her late 40s, showed no signs of slowing. 
In 2001, she appeared in the feature film Rain, and in the following year, she appeared in the TV movie Disappearance. She then appeared in the TV movie spin-off L.A. Law the Movie. And yet, after 2004, she decided to quit acting for good. Susan Calls It Quits While it's been a mystery for some time, fans will be pleased to know Susan Day was ready to call it quits and focus on other goals in her life. She felt exhausted from acting and had no interest in continuing to act or to get into producing. She wanted a break from the limelight, too, and to enjoy a quiet life with her family. Nevertheless, she still keeps busy. She's on the board of the Rape Treatment Center at the UCLA Medical Center. Along with her former L.A. Law co-star Corbin Burnson, she co-narrated a documentary on sexual assault on university campuses. She seldom gives interviews now and doesn't like to appear on red carpet events too often. She's often reluctant to discuss her time on The Partridge Family. While she must have enjoyed her role on the show, she didn't always have the best memories from it. She had a crush on David Cassidy, and when their relationship ended, it must have taken its toll. Luckily, she managed to escape many of the traps that teenage stars face. Many famous 70s teenage stars were forever defined by their role and never managed to find great work again. She managed to find a diverse range of roles in films, TV movies, and TV shows. And she almost never stopped working until she finally decided to call it quits. Some of us always remember Susan as Lori Partridge, but a further look at her resume and you can see she was arguably one of the most talented and versatile actresses of her generation. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you wish Susan Day hadn't retired in 2004? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.